hello queens and welcome back so if you guys saw this photo over on my instagram well you guys are in for a treat because today i will be sharing with you guys how i actually created this look using some new goodies that i picked up during the sephora holiday preview event so off camera i did do my eyebrows using the anastasia brown brow wiz in dark brown and then i topped that with the benefit gimme brow in the shade number five to prime my eyelids i used the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion and I'm simply going to apply this on both lids because I want to make sure that when we use our eyeshadow today it goes on seamlessly so taking this brush I'm simply going to distribute the eyeshadow primer all over both lids So for our eyes today, we will be using the Moschino Shopping Bag Eyeshadow Palette that's in collaboration with Sephora for the holidays. It contains six beautiful women of color friendly shades, you guys. And we're gonna use two of them today to create one of the looks out of the three that you can create with this palette. I love the fact that it comes with a large mirror. It is convenient for travel. So you can create three different looks, Malibu, Soho, as well as Vegas. But for me, I wanted to be simplistic this day, so I decided to create the Soho look. So we're gonna start out with using the color clay in the top left-hand color and just taking a pretty much dome-shaped brush, you guys, any kind of fluffy brush to help distribute the to distribute the eyeshadow that's what you'll need to use and we're going to build this into the outer crease and then slowly bring this inward towards the inner eye but mainly focusing this color towards the outer crease Now using a clean brush, we're gonna simply pretty much just blow this out because we don't want to have any kind of harsh lines, you guys, and I really want to have like that airbrush look for my transitioning shade. So now we're gonna go in with Cloud Crossing, and this is such a beautiful purple brown shade, I would say, because looking at it, it does come off brown, but you can tell that it is purple, you guys. And I just love the way that these eyeshadows apply seamlessly. And I like that you can build them up, and I like the fact that it doesn't have a lot of fallout as well, you guys. So this palette was very, 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 very beginner-friendly, I feel, and I would definitely recommend it for anyone. One. taking the same clean fluffy brush we're going to simply blend those two shades together so that way we do not have a harsh line for mascara we will be using the bobbi brown eye opening mascara and to line my eyes we'll use the contour eye pencil 12 hour wear from sephora in the shade black and what I love about mascara, honestly, is that it does give you the same appearance of falsies, you guys. So if you're like me and you're not an expert at applying falsies, then I will highly recommend just using a very good buildable mascara that will give you that same voluminous, dramatic eye look that a falsy lash would do if you guys are not one to wear false lashes like myself. And this is what it looks like. And I just love this mascara. It's dope. And I'm going to continue building up both the eyeshadow and the mascara throughout this video. But now we're going to be moving on to our face. And this is what the eye look looks for both of my eyes. And we're going to prime. So to prime my skin, I'm using the Makeup Forever and Becca Cosmetic Primers, you guys. The Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector um, Primer, you guys. This is life. I've been using it pretty much all of 2017. And I like the way that it just gives you a nice smooth canvas to actually apply your foundation onto, as well as just making sure that your foundation stays in place as well. But if you're like myself and you're oily and have combination skin, we have to take it a step further. So going in with the step one base mattifying primer from Makeup Forever, I'm going to be applying this on the high points of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and as well as my forehead, because those are are the places where I tend to get the oiliest throughout the day so simply I'm going to pat 
this into my skin yes pat this into my skin because this specific specific primer I'm sorry does tend to ball up so if you want to make sure that you do have this applied evenly using a patting motion now moving on to our foundation I will be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 410. I initially did try out the shade 420. I had gotten some samples from Sephora and it was just too dark because this foundation does oxidize. And I would highly recommend that you shake before using and this is what the foundation looks like swatched on the back of my hand. And I'm simply going to use a couple of pumps you guys to start out with just to see how much of the foundation I would actually need to use to cover my skin. But look at that covers you guys flawless I mean flawless I'm not one to color correct I just feel like that's just too much for my skin and I just feel it would just definitely clog my pores so to just go in with the foundation that covers and simply corrects as well I am loving this foundation from Fenty Beauty Riri did her thing she created something for everybody across the board and I just like the way that it does have that dry i mean i'm sorry not dry but a powder finish you guys like a matte finish and i just like the fact that you can build the coverage to your liking so definitely 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 would recommend this for oily to combination skin so i'm simply going to take another pump that was on the back of my hand so that way i can make sure i get the rest of my neck underneath my chin to cover any other of my scars that may still be peeping through and just look how it just blends like just butter into my skin and it just matches so perfectly it really does give you a real skin finish and i like the fact again that you can build this up to your liking so if i honestly wanted to go heavier i could but just for this particular day and for this look i wanted to keep it as natural as possible and i just really did like this foundation so if you haven't tried it and you're oily to combination i would definitely recommend you try it out before you buy it to see how you like it but for me i'm sold i love it So once we've applied the foundation, this is what it looks like, you guys. As you can tell, it has started to oxidize, but I like the finish. I like the tone. I love the color. I just love the way that it just matches the rest of my body. And I just like the fact that it is a lightweight formulation. So to highlight, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Fawn. So taking the concealer and placing it underneath my eyes, I'm going to also highlight the bridge of my nose as well as my chin and forehead. And you're going to want to take a different damp beauty blender so that way you can actually blend out your concealer you guys and for me sometimes i do go for a little bit brighter under eye but for today's look i really just wanted to keep it as simple as possible very natural and i was having some texture that day so i really didn't want to go overboard with applying too much makeup as well so you just want to make sure that you just blend this out as seamlessly as possible because again you don't want to have any kind of harsh lines whatsoever we want to have a natural look as possible to set my concealer i'm going in with the absolute new york hd flawless pressed finishing powder and i've had this all summer and just got around to using it this fall and i must say i really do like it i'm a translucent powder girl i have not used like the sasha buttercup um setting powders um but for me translucent works just as fine i know some people don't like the white ashy look but i'm oily so eventually that does go away so translucent works out perfect for me so now to contour i will be using the black radiance contour palette in medium to dark you guys have seen me use this several times here on my channel i am in love with this palette i love the highlight especially and i like how it's so beginner friendly look at that it teaches you how to apply it 
So of course we're going to contour you guys just a little bit. So taking this contour brush that I got from Elf Cosmetics Online, I'm simply going to chisel out the natural places, those hollow places I should say, in my cheekbone area just so that way i can bring back the natural shadows of my face because when you do apply you know your foundation and concealer you do tend to look washed out so we don't want to look like that we want to look like we do have some dimension so um if you're not one to contour i would recommend it but you do not have to go overboard and we're just going to make sure that we continue to blend this out so it doesn't look like we have dirt on the side of our face because we definitely don't want that look ladies no Once we're done contouring, we're now gonna brush away all of that translucent powder that we use to set our concealer so that way it doesn't move, doesn't budge, doesn't crease because nobody has time for that and it is not a cute look when you're wearing your makeup three, four hours later in the day, no ma'am. So to set my face, we will be using the Urban Decay Quick Fix Setting Spray. I do have the All Nighter Setting Spray, which is like bay, and I couldn't find it this day, but this one works just as good, you guys. It is a quick fix, so I like the way that it just helps to just set everything and blend everything together. And taking a little bit more of the contour shot contour shade, you guys, we're going to actually chisel out a little bit of my nose because I noticed that. It really didn't look like I had a bridge on my nose. So we're gonna chisel that out ever so slightly, but you just wanna, again, build this up to your liking. You don't wanna go overboard if you're like me. You want a more natural look. Now for blush, we're going back to Black Radiance. We're gonna use their Artesian Baked Blush. And this is in the shade, I believe, Toasted Almond. Yes, and you guys, I've been using this all 2017. This is Bay. this is like my favorite blush. And I'm not one for like an excessive blush, but I do like a flush of color, just to, you know, to have that nice look, you know, to just bring the whole makeup look together. And I just really like how you can build it up. And so now we're gonna go into highlighting using the Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick. You guys, and I love this. This is $25 at Sephora, but it is a very good investment. I've had this going into 2017. And look at those gorgeous women of color friendly shades. Like, yes, get your life with this highlight, ladies. Please get it, please. So we're gonna use all of these shades together taking an elf stippling brush and this is the only brush i honestly use to apply my highlight so i'm just going to take my time and build this up ever so slightly but eventually you guys will see of course i'm just extra so i'm just going to wind up just slapping it on there because who doesn't like to have a nice highlight and be glowing to the guys like come on y'all we're queens so who doesn't want to have that natural glow And you'll notice too that I'm dragging the highlight down so that way it does blend seamlessly into my blush as well as my contour because we don't want to have a harsh line. And then I'm also going to highlight ever so lightly on the bridge of my nose just so that way when the light hits, you can get your life. And then we're gonna take this even a step further and applying some at the high points of our um, eyebrows, you guys. So that way, you know, again, when that sunlight hits you, you can get that natural glow and we're gonna dip back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna play with angel wings and I'm just gonna play place that in the high parts of the arch of my eyebrows and also to just to blend together with the eyeshadow so it, it's not like a space between my eyebrows and the eyeshadow you, if you guys get what I'm saying we want a seamless look so you just want to make sure you take your time and blend this in and I'm telling you that shade that was all I needed it was bae it gave me life 
So you guys, we're moving on to lips and I'm using a brown lip liner from NYX Cosmetics, very inexpensive. And I have fallen in love with just using a lip liner to fill in my lips. It's quick, simple, to the point, and I feel you can create your own, you know, color mixtures to create to your own style. Now taking the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Lip Luminizer. Like y'all know I have fallen in love with this stuff ever since I first purchased it during the Sephora Holiday Preview event. I just love it. So you guys, this pretty much completes the look as you guys will see later on that it does come together. So now we're gonna start playing with the natural hair, you guys. I'm gonna take it down using some oil, of course, so that way we can minimize as much frizz as possible. And then I'm simply going to take down my flat twist. So here is the final look queens once I've got my clothes on and taken down the rest of my twists. I am really feeling the Fenty Beauty foundation as well as the Moschino shopping bag eyeshadow palette. I got all my life you guys with this. Of course I had to take a couple of selfies for Instagram of course because I love Instagram and yeah you guys I want to create the other two looks from this eyeshadow palette so comment down below. Make sure to subscribe queens and I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be blessed and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye queens.